Well, welcome back to WSOP, your rock station south of the pole, where you just heard the gnomes, it's cold outside. And I can definitely agree that here south of the pole, it's 26 degrees. We are here at Santa's Bar and Reindeer Grill, where every night until Christmas, we are serving reindeer chowder. So come on down to Santa's Bar and Reindeer Grill and get yourself a hot bowl of reindeer chowder. Now, normally, we don't have guests like this during this time of year, but we have a special guest in our studio. Welcome, Gastro the Reindeer. Yeah, thanks, now, thanks for according to his publicist and his bio, Gastro was formerly one of Santa's head deer, but due to circumstances beyond his control, he was pulled from the team, whereas Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer eventually got to lead Santa's team. However, before Rudolph assumed the lead role, there was Randy the Brown-Nosed Reindeer. But we've all heard Randy was basically kissing Santa's butt for everything, like how slim Santa looked this year, and Mrs. Santa looking hot for teacher, and the elves were smoking pot after Santa left on his rounds. And the worst was that he thought the Nightmare Before Christmas was a much better representation of Santa than the Miracle on 34th Street. He mistook the drunken Santa as the old man. But Gastro, after being given his papers, he moved south to Canada and started his own business delivering packages under the name of Gas Express, or as the locals tell us, Gas X. As with each package, a small surprise was left on the porch. Deliveries were fast and on time, and remember, he was a reindeer. The only setback was the packages were always delivered after midnight. Old habits are hard to break, but it paid the bills. You see, when Gastro was let go, it was an unfortunately due to his IRDBS, commonly known as Irritable Reindeer Bowel Syndrome. It's common among reindeer who are lactose intolerant, and it was discovered at an early age during his use when his mama fed him rum and milk. Mama was having a hard time raising all the bucks and does while Prancer was off with the boys playing reindeer games. <laughs> yeah, right. She knew they were hanging at the Tender Deer Club, waiting for Renee, the three-legged antler dancer. So Mama resorted to the rum and milk, or now what we commonly call a rum cow. Anyway, Castro injected so much rum and milk that it screwed up his bowels. He thought he had it under control by taking an over-the-counter medication, for it was only one night that he really had to hold it in. But it was that night in 1974 when they were flying over Australia when a cyclone hit, and Santa drove through it. It tossed the sled and the reindeers around so much that it cost Gastro to finally lose his kibble. Reindeer crap was everywhere. Santa no longer had a white beard, and the other reindeers were gagging and throwing up. Well, you can imagine what happened when they got back to the North Pole. So we have in our bar today, Gastro, who's now a recovering IRDBS survivor, yeah. so we're told. That's right, Rick. So welcome, Gastro. How are you doing today? Oh, we're doing... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we'll be right back after these messages. Oh, my God. Anybody right. got an air freshener? Can you open that window up over there, man? Sorry. Oh my god, it's all over the floor. Sorry. What the hell? 